Good morning, YouTubers. It may not be morning where you are, but anyway, I have a quick question from one of our friends here. They said uh, basically they have Chevy or Toyota here, and when they do, it updates this range. Uh, it updates this cell, and it's either Toyota underscore model or Chevy underscore model, and that is actually the name of the range that they want to fill this validation in with. So if it's Chevy model, it's this range. Toyota model, Toyota model, it's these things. So it's a little different. Um, and he wanted to know how to do that in a user form for, with combo boxes. So, uh, very simply, we're going to hit Alt F11. I'll show you what I did. I created a user form right here with our combo box number one. Whenever that changes, oops, I actually named it combo box two because I was doing it out of order. So whenever combo box 2 has a change in it, then the text box next to it becomes whatever's in that combo box with underscore model. So Chevy underscore model or Toyota underscore model. And I did tell it that um, the row source for combo box number 2 is the range called type, T-Y-P-E. That was his named range on his worksheet, so that works second thing is instead of using indirect uh, quite simply you just use whatever's in me dot text box one to equal your row source for your other combo box so the row source might be let's hit F8 here um, so if I hit Chevy um, the text box one is going to become Chevy underscore model and then whatever's in that text box, so a Chevy underscore model is what we want our row source to be. And so the combo box one's row source is now going to equal whatever's in, so that word Chevy underscore model. And that's the range that we want to be the row source. Hit F8. And so the row source, it accepted that. Let's see what the row source brought us. That's what we wanted. Now if I hit Toyota, now the row source is Toyota model and it has all the Toyota stuff. So, thanks for watching.